Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2018 for Hell's Gate Haunted House, as per the, the lovely t-shirt here. Yes. And Lockport, Illinois. This one's a new attraction in its third season, if right. I recall correctly. And this was one of the big ones yeah. on the tour. This was one we were really excited by. Uh, a zombie army owned and produced haunted attraction. Uh, built from the ground up, literally the ground up. Literally but, removing ground. Yeah, literally beyond ground up. It actually started by removing yeah. ground, then ground up. Yes. Uh, by the zombie army. And, you know, we've been very, very excited about this one. They had um, a kerfuffle when they first opened. Right. And we were eager to see if they would resolved this. We weren't really going to be a good test of the throughput issues because of the better than VIP access. Right. But we were still curious to see how things had shaken out. They gotten all the bugs worked out. And the answer appears to be yes, obviously. They've made it this far. Yeah. They obviously had. Um, but, yeah, I... Jeez, I don't know where to begin with this one. I've been trying to think what to say. If you want to hear about the After Hours Lights on Tour, yeah. then go and listen to our yeah. our Haunt Weekly on it. Yeah. On the Chica yeah. Chicago Yeah, Lost, Lost Souls Chicago Haunted yeah. Bus. Lost Souls Haunted Bus Tour Chicago. Yeah. We have a whole episode on it. It's an hour long, and we talk about the stuff that's not so much these reviews. Right. And it does cover the tour. Yeah. Um, so and, now let's cover the haunt here. Yes. Um... The haunt starts with an outside portion. Yes. And the outside portion is like a woods portion and a cemetery portion, which, if we're going to be honest, it, it's not as memorable as the inside of the haunt. Yeah, well, we were trying to rush through it because it started raining. Yeah, and it so not started. It was raining. Yeah, well, and, it started as we were getting there. Yeah, so. and, <laughs> and basically they were holding the trail open for us. Right. The, the people that came after us got an abridged version of it because there's a portion of the trail at the end that when it gets rainy, it gets slippery. Yeah. We know we all slipped. Yeah. And it does get a little bit um, hazardous, Yeah. I guess you would say. So it was hazard to say I that. was very, very glad to see the whole thing. It was awesome. And the real reason for the trail, I believe, is not just to give you some good scares along the way. I do like the tree you walk through and a few of the effects. Mm -hmm. But it's also to give you that walk up. Yeah. To Hell's Gate, it's up to the big house. Right. And that walk up is truly an impressive sight. You sort of start cresting this hill and you see it above you. Mm -hmm. And it's a very beautiful moment. They've got photos of it all over their site. So you can go and see that for yourself. But yeah, that is a very, very powerful moment um, yeah. there. It's one of the moments of awe, as you know, John LaFlan Boy likes to say. It's a moment yeah. of awe. Right. If you go back and watch Days of the Living Dead YouTube series, he says the word awe. Do a shot every time he says <laughs> awe. And you, you'll be dead, probably. Probably, yeah. <laughs> he really likes that word a lot. I, mean, I don't blame him. It's a great word. But still, the point about that was it was an interesting part of the tour, but it Realistically, it didn't feel like the beginning because then you go in and you actually have an intro sequence and a show. Right. And if you're a haunted attraction looking to do a kind of like a stage show thing, this is a haunt to study. Yeah. Because they found a way to do it and integrate it into the haunt in a way that doesn't mess with throughput, that actually gives like a really good punctuation to the beginning of the haunt mm -hmm. and puts you in the right mindset to go in. And it tells the story. And of it the tells haunt. the story, yes, of the haunt. So it does. So it's a wham bam done. It's only a few minutes long, but it's very impressive. No spoilers here. It's a very impressive intro, and it really, really does set the stage for it. It, it was once again a moment of all. Yeah. Um, and I still found it kind of weird how they line you up in that room, and then they take you to the next room and line you up again, like they're shuffling a deck of cards, right. very slowly. Yeah. And I know it's to break you up in groups of a specific size, mm -hmm. but still, it felt kind of weird, and it felt like you're spending the first part of the haunt just lining up and then <laughs> re -queuing. And it also means you may be broken up from the people you're with. Right. Uh, I don't think we were separated, but it no. theoretically could have happened. Yeah, it almost happened a few times, but... I think it happened at Statesville, when we the, yeah. did a very similar thing. We'll talk about that in the next review. Mm -hmm. Um... As for the haunt itself, one of the things they pride themselves on is the build quality. Mm -hmm. They essentially built an old house in the woods. Yeah. Um, and that includes crazy-ass things like antique furniture, hardwood floors, things you just don't see in most haunt attractions. Like, the Not only one I can think of that does it here is the mortuary, and that's because it's 
in a historic building. It's already built in. Yeah, they the, didn't build the mortuary. No, exactly. The mortuary was built. It would be like if the mortuary constructed the mortuary yeah. and then opened up. It would be exactly like right. that, which is not how that went down. Um, they had a much easier time. <laughs> yeah, they, they had a pre-existing building. It helps. Yeah. Um, but still, it was, like I said, the build quality was very good. The actors, once again, as we've said at other haunts in Chicago, were very on point. They were hitting their cues. They were hitting their beats. They were doing a great job. Um, I, even though they explained the story, I didn't really get it until it was explained later. And it was kind of an oh moment during oh, the Lights okay. on Tour. From, I didn't fully understand it personally. Um, but you seem to have gotten it, so that could just be a me thing, and that's fine. Yeah. I, I was probably too busy watching the effects and other things, so mm -hmm. it could totally be me on that. Yeah, I it was a breathtaking scene. Yeah, it really was. So it may have actually been too good to convey the story <laughs> in some ways. That's possible. That's very possible. But yeah, I mean, I did enjoy this, the walkthrough of the haunt. Um, I did find it kind of bizarre. There's one part where you go up a staircase... And you go through a scene that's not very heavily decorated, mm -hmm. not a lot there, and they just go down a slide. Yeah. And they say on the site they have a huge slide. I mean, I'm going to have to ding you on that one. You've yeah. got a slide. Yeah. No one's going to argue you don't have a slide, but it's it's a slide. Yeah. And I thought, but I thought that was kind of weird. But when you go go listen to the Haunt Weekly episode where we talk about it more, mm -hmm. it explains why they did that. And it's actually... Kind of ingenious. Yeah, it's pretty smart. It's very, very clever. i got to admire yeah. that. But, yeah. And I will say the final sequence, the new one this year, and it's no spoilers because they put it on Days of the Living Dead. Right. Um, is the Dragon Room sequence. Mm -hmm. um, it lives up to the hype from that YouTube series, basically. Yeah. It really, really does. It's an incredible sequence with multiple dragons. Um, the only problem I think I had with that room was I think they actually had too many actors in it for me. Yeah. This is kind of weird because... Well, go, ahead. go ahead. Well, I mean, most of the actors in Hell's Gate aren't really going for the boo gotcha scares. It's, right. a, it's a very well, theatrical haunt. It is. And so the actors, what they're trying to do more than anything is really intrude your personal space. They're trying to make you feel uncomfortable. And for a lot of the haunt, that's perfectly fine. It's mm -hmm. disconcerting. It's distracting. It works kind of well. And that room, there I think were six... Yeah, the five or six. I, I lost count. People well, and all doing the same thing. Yeah, well, and I think that part of that is because it's part of their controls for groups. Yeah, and because we were catching up to the group in front of us, and then more actors appeared, and then it slowed us down. Yeah, but that was so also one of the that, that was also the last been, scene, though. I don't know. Yeah, but it, it still might have been on purpose. It might have been on purpose, but still, it it made it so that it was hard to really look or take in the room anyway. Yeah. Because you didn't know where to look and where where not to get scared from, basically. Yeah. Um, if I were going to compare this to a haunt locally, it'd be 13th Gate. Yeah. We have a cat. Yes. <laughs> um, it'd be the 13th Gate um, because, once again, very, very theatrical sets, movie-like sets, mm -hmm. uh, strong appearance, um, and not necessarily super heavy on the ultra-intense scares. Yeah. Really trying to be more atmospheric with the occasional jump scare rather than trying to attack, attack, attack. Yeah. Um, so if that's the style of haunting you like, Hell's Gate really is for you. I think it's one of you the best. You will be entertained. You will definitely leave this haunt entertained, even if you don't get super scared, which is honestly should be the goal of every haunt. In yeah. my personal opinion, you should be focusing on entertainment first. The only gripe I would say I have with the haunt is sound design. Yeah, there's not an, any, really. They use... Uh, a loop of the beautiful people from Marilyn Manson, and even though it's, I think it's only supposed to be in certain areas. Mm -hmm. A, it doesn't fit well in those areas. Right. But it bleeds into other areas too and takes away from it, which is yeah. frustrating. We may get jumped by a cat, by the way. There's seriously a cat like right there. You just yeah. barely off, off screen. That, that's why the light's light is changing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> he's, he's between the light. Oh God. Yeah. High value production quality here, folks. You heard it first. Oh, man. But, yeah. So, the sound design issues were a little bit weird because, like, in the creepy doll room. Right. Which is, that's one of the things I do find very unsettling. I wouldn't say it's a thing I fear, but it's a thing that makes you go, oh, really? <laughs> it makes your skin crawl a little. It, ma it makes me not like the room that much. Yeah. You know, from from in the visceral way, not the I don't like it as a haunter. Right, right. right. Um. But yeah, in that room, I could hear it, and it just seemed so out of place. Yeah. It didn't seem right. 
Um, they could have done so much more with that environment for the sound in particular. Mm -hmm. They were doing such a great job because all the dolls were custom. Yeah. It, when you hit that room, take a moment to look at the dolls. To really look at them if you can. Yeah. Because every one of them was custom done. Custom done, and some of them were dug up from whenever they dug up the hill in order to make the. Yeah, I want to. I got some questions about this hill they dug up. Speaking yeah. of which, I need, I need to email John Laflamme and see if he'll answer me yeah. some questions about that hill. I'm sure he will. Like, what the hell was there before? Yeah. Um, he never said. <laughs> You yeah. just said it was woods and stuff, and obviously yeah. it wasn't. It was a hill, and it was a uh, old um, abandoned property. Yeah, but anyways, the thing about this, um, Hell's Gate, high quality production value. You're going to find great sets. You're going to find great actors. Mm -hmm. um, you may not get like all the super intense jump scares. It's not like Midnight Terror, I think, did more jump scares per room or more attacks right. at, at regular intervals. Um, but you're definitely going to have that theatrical feel to it. You're going to feel like you're transformed to another place. Yeah. And that is some that is something I genuinely love in Haunts, and Hell's Gate really provided it. It's th it's an example of knowing your strength and playing it. Exactly. So, anything else about Hell's Gate? No. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2018 for Hell's Gate Haunted House in Lockport, Illinois. Oh, by the way, um... Tickets were, uh, crud, I forgot, it was 25. 25, I think it was 25, 35. And then there's 150 for yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. So anyways, uh, check it out. Yes. We'll see you guys next time. Fucking cat.